Hey guys, happy to see you on my channel here again today. Um, what we're going to talk about today is um, how I do it all, how I get it all done. Um, I know some people say, Heather, I don't see how you do everything that you do, how you keep up with everything that you keep up with, or how you have the patience to do what you do. So I kind of wanted to address some of that today. Um, I know a lot of people um, that are maybe looking into homeschool think, how in the world am I going to fit all of this into my schedule? How am I going to fit all this into my day? Um, so I kind of want to talk about that and some big changes that I'm making this year, um, this, this upcoming year. Um, and if, if I sound a little, my voice sounds a little shaky, I, I am a little shaky. I'm starting to get hungry. <laughs> I've, um, I've got the oven heating up for to make me some lunch. So I'm working on that, but right now I kind of wanted to just jump on and record a quick video. So, um, first I'm going to address some of the changes that I'm making this year. Um, starting in August, I will be, um, homeschooling my daughter. Um, she will be doing a pre-K type work. Um, it, it will be extremely loose, um, very laid back for her because she's only three and a half. I just kind of want her to dip her toes in it. You know, she's, um, she's always asking mama, I want to do my school work. I want to do work, you know, cause she sees the boys working. So she wants to do work too. So, um, she's already been tracing things in books and doing really well with that. She has very good, um, hand control. She already has the correct pen grasp. So she does really well with that. So I thought maybe I'd start her um, in doing some pre-K work this year and just kind of see how it goes. And, you know, maybe work with her like 15 minutes at a time or something like that and then let her go play. And then if she wants to come sit back down, we'll do some more. I'll just kind of let her sort of um, be in control of her own schedule just to see how she does. It won't be rigid at all because, like I said, she's only three and a half. So... But I thought I would go ahead and try and start her and just to see what she does, see how she likes it. I've got her a little table set up over here with um, her own little crayon box and her scissors and her glue and everything. And yes, she knows how to use scissors and she knows how to use the glue. So she's fine with all that. Um, my other big change that I'm making this year is I'm adding another child that I'm tutoring that will be coming to my house um, every day for during the week. Um, his name is Dawson. He's five, so he'll be doing kindergarten work. I'm super, super excited about that. I cannot wait for him to um, him to start coming to my house. He's a very sweet little boy. He's um, His mama is a close friend of mine, and um, she just needed a little bit of extra help. So um, she asked if I would help out and um, help with her son, Dawson. So that's what I'm going to do. So I will be adding another child to my list. So I have, I'll, in total, I will have four kids that I'll be homeschooling. And now you may ask, how in the world do you plan to manage all of that? Um, well, something I've worked on, let me get my notebook here. Um, something I worked on the other day was a schedule for how I would set up their day. Um, I know you can't read that from the camera angle where you're looking at, but, um, but what we would do is everybody would do Bible study together at one time and then... Um, while the boys are working on their Bible study worksheets, the um, the two younger ones will be doing the coloring page that comes with it. And then we'll all go in together and do gather round. Um, I think by the time Dawson gets here in August, we'll be doing the oceans unit. So that'll be really fun. We'll be learning about sharks and, you know, sea turtles and all, all of the things that are in the oceans. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and then uh, Dawson uses uh, Me Academy like like the older boys do, but he also uses the good and the beautiful. So, um, I'm going to, um, let Hannah play with some manipulatives while I'm working with Dawson in the good and the beautiful math. And then I'll put Dawson on, um, reading eggs online and work with Hannah with the letter of the day. And then, um, then I'll swap back again and let Hannah work with manip manipulatives or toys or just go have some free play time while I do language arts with the good and the beautiful with Dawson. And then I'll go back to Hannah and let her do the number of the day while Dawson does um, social studies and science with Me Academy. Um, if none of that made sense, I'm really sorry. <laughs> it does sound confusing unless you're looking at it on paper. So basically what it is, is kind of like how I did with the boys when I first started out with them, when they had a lot more work to do was, um, I kind of, you know, I work with one and give the other one something to do, either like a worksheet or some kind of online work while I'm working with one. And then I swap back and forth. 
Um, so, and since they're younger, the, um, they'll have um, some manipulatives that they can play with that I found online. I found some things on Amazon that I'd like to get for them. Um, some little, um, I found these little cards that they come with like little plastic links. Like if the card will say like five, so then they have to attach five links to the card. And that teaches them how to count like one, two, three, four, five. Cause like right now Hannah counts like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> so, you know, she can count to ten, but she doesn't understand how to separate it out. Like if I ask her how many fingers is this, she might say seven. So, you know, cause like I said, she'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, she, that, that's just how she does it. So she's got to learn how to rope count is, is what that is. It's counting it out like one, two, three, like pointing at the object and counting the objects. So um, I'll have things like that for him to do, things like that for him to play with. And um, like I said, Dawson is already um, on the Academy, so um, he'll be using that. And he has already signed up for Reading Eggs, so um, he'll be using Reading Eggs. Um, and I think um, having the, the Gather Round curriculum will still be really fun. Um, both Hannah and Dawson will have their own workbook with Gather Round, and I've showed you guys before um, when I did it in a video um, with the Oceans unit, the, um, the pre-reader books, they only have like two worksheets or something, and one is a coloring page and another one is something really, really simple like matching a, uh, an outline to the picture that it goes with or something like that. So that'll be really simple, something that they can do, but they can still be included in the lesson. Um, so those are the two big changes that I make. And, and now I kind of want to talk about how I manage to um, keep up with everything. Uh, I'm going to be very honest with you. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> um, there's a lot of days that the house just gets left to itself. Um, there's a lot of days that, uh, I forget certain things. Um, here lately, I've really been into, um, doing outside work, planting flowers, watering my flowers, um, things like that. So, Every morning I get up and the first thing I do is I go outside and I water all my flowers. Um, it used to be that I would start a load of laundry or something like that. So now instead of doing housework, I'm doing yard work. <laughs> so my obsession has kind of taken over and um, it seems like the house is just being neglected. Because um, I'm just out there worried about all my little plant babies. But um, no, but what I'm thinking I'm going to start doing is, um, you know, like I, just like I do now, I'll be getting up early in the morning before the kids and I'll make my rounds with, um, with all my flowers. You know, normally you wouldn't have to water everything every day. Like my, my established plants that are out front that have been out front for a couple of years. I have some mums that are like two and three years old that are out there. Um, some, some sedum that's out there that's been out there for a while. I have a tea rose out there. Um, that's been out there for a couple years now. Things like that that have been planted for a couple years and are well established, they only need watering like maybe twice a week, maybe three times a week when we get to the hottest part of the summer. Um, but I have planted a ton of brand new plants that haven't established and they need watering. Some of them need water every day and some of them need water every other day. And some of them are super dramatic, like my hydrangeas are super dramatic. If they don't get water every day, the little leaves will start drooping. So um, I, I'm just gonna plan to water everything first thing in the morning um, and either do dishes or laundry first thing in the morning. That'll, that'll kind of be my goal is to get the plants watered and get either laundry started or the dishwasher started, either one. Um, Cause I'm gonna be straight up honest with you, I do not do dishes at night. Like after we eat supper, I rinse everything out and I just leave it in the sink. Because homegirl is tired, I'm done. I do not want to do dishes again. Because usually I have to do them during the day from eating breakfast and from eating lunch and things like that and snacks and all that kind of stuff. Um, and you could say, Heather, why don't you use paper plates? Because I don't want to have to be buying paper plates every single time I go to the grocery store. Um, <laughs> that gets expensive. We have real plates, why not use them, right? So, um, anyway, I wash a lot of dishes during the day. So at night, I don't like to do a lot of dishes. Um, as far as like keeping up with other house maintenance, like, you know, vacuuming the floors and all that kind of stuff. 
all of that will have to wait until the end of my homeschool day. Um, we usually homeschool like we're starting in August. We're going to be starting about 9 a.m. And we should be done by 12. Um, so I think I can fit in housework um, after we eat lunch. Um, so I think that's, that's how I'm going to have to do it because there are times now that I can, um, that I can let the boys work on something independently and I go do some housework like this morning. They were both on me Academy at the same time and I went and did some dishes. So that worked out well, but starting in August, I'll have two little ones that need my constant attention. So I'll have to be in the classroom with them all the time. Um, I kind of have Keelan and Heath to the point that they can mostly do their work on their own and don't need me unless I'm teaching like a gather around lesson or a Bible study. Um, now, every now and again, they need my help. Like today, um, Heath needed some help with um, me Academy because they were teaching him like the basics of geometry and he just was not understanding that it wasn't making any sense with him. So I had to sit down with him and watch the video with him and help him take notes and made sure that he understood everything before he moved forward. And he actually ended up making a 100 on the test. So I was really pleased with that. Um, that is something that I love about Me Academy as a side note. Um, is that if they don't do good on a test, then you can you can redo it. You can reassign it. They can watch the video again. They can do the practice again. And they can take the test again. And they'll keep the, the highest grade. Like it'll average in the highest grade instead of the, the lower one that they made first. Whichever one is the most recent and whichever one you leave there, that's the grade that they take. Um, so, um, but anyway, I'll, you know, that's as far as like getting housework done, that'll have to wait until I'm done teaching my two littles, um, in the afternoon. So, um, I'm, I'm going to try and come up with a cleaning schedule. Like, um, you know, I know that I need to vacuum every day. That's, that's something I can do really quick. I have a cordless Dyson vacuum, so I can vacuum every day. That's no big deal. I just like run, run it through the main living area really quick. That's not a problem. Um, but as far as like cleaning bathrooms, uh, making sure bed sheets all get washed, um, staying on top of laundry, uh, things like that. I think I need to make an actual schedule, like I'll do this on this day and this on that day, um, just so I can kind of keep up with it in my mind, like, you know, when, when was the last time I cleaned the, the bathtub? <laughs> you don't want to wait until there's a ring around the bathtub to clean it, you know, you want to you wanna keep it clean so you don't get that ring. So, anyway, can you tell that I've had that ring before because I obviously I know about it, but anyway, um, no, but that's that's how I plan to stay on top of everything. I will let you guys know let you guys know how that goes for me. Um, I really want to, um, like I said, try and make a, a clean and schedule just to see how that works. If you have any tips for me at all, um, leave them in the comments. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, as far as you know, staying on top of the housework and staying on top of um, homeschooling the kids. Um, and also, one thing I would like to mention, I didn't mention this at the start of the video. <laughs> you can see one of my one of my little boys right there in the dining room. Um, but anyway, one of the things that I didn't mention that I've added to my list of things that I have to keep up with now is I'm starting my own plant nursery. Um, gardening and growing things, especially growing things from seed, has brought me the most joy. So I got this tiny little greenhouse. It's just like this four tier shelf thing that has a cover that goes over it. It's just a teeny tiny little thing that I got off Amazon. And I ordered some chrysanthemum seeds, uh, candy tuff seeds, aster seeds, and salvia seeds. And I mostly planted mums, uh, the chrysanthemums, because I want them to be ready by fall. Um, and the salvia, the candy tuft, and the asters are just like an experiment. Like, you know, here in Georgia, we have a very long growing season. Um, and I've never planted those flowers from seed. There's a lot of things that I've planted from seed and had very good luck with. So I wanted to try my hand at these. But so now I've added that to my list of things to do is this little nursery that I've started. So I've got like a whole ton of things going on all at one time. You know, I've got the homeschool and the kids. I've got the new nursery that I'm taking care of. I've got the house that I've got to take care of. You know, got to make sure I've got supper cooked every night. And well, not every night, but you you know what I'm saying. And anyway, it's it's a lot, but I think I can manage it. And um, I like to be busy. I like to have things to do. I don't like to sit still very long. Um 
But like I said, if you have any tips for me, leave them in the comments below. I'll I'll take any kind of advice that I can get because I'm even though I'm almost a year into this, I'm still considered a rookie homeschooler. Um, but those are my plans to um, you know to try and make a clean and schedule and see how it goes, and um, be in here in the classroom until we're done. I think separating that out in my mind will really help. Like you know when I'm in the classroom, be present in the classroom, like not be sitting here thinking, oh my gosh, I really wish I could be washing these dishes. No, sit here and pay attention to the children, take time with the children, take it slow, take it nice and easy. Um, so those, those are my goals for this upcoming year. I know a lot of people are posting videos about how their school year went and because it's getting towards the end of the school year for a lot of people. Um, but for us, you know, we're, we school year round. So, we are coming to the end of when we started, but we are continuously rolling on. So there's really no end to what we do. Now, I do have a little bit lighter load for them in the summertime. It won't be like, you know, we have all these extra things that I'm trying to cram in the schedule. Um, it'll it'll be lighter and it'll we'll be a little bit more lax with it. Um, but, you know, we still have subjects that we have to cover. We still have a certain amount of days that we have to attend. So I'll make sure we get all that in there. So we, we are compliant with the law. <laughs> um, but, um, that is, that is pretty much it. Um, yeah, just coming up with the cleaning schedule and, um, taking on a new kid and taking on a, a new adventure with the plant nursery and, um, that's what I've been up to lately. So anyway, um, like I said, if you guys have any tips, comments, uh, leave them down below. If there's any kind of video you would like to see, let me know. If you would like me to do a video on, um, the curriculum that I'm using now because I have taken a lot out, um, and I've made some changes, I'd be glad to do that. That might be my next video. Um, I'm thinking about doing a review of Me Academy because I am a part of a homeschooling group on Facebook and I've seen a lot of people recently asking questions about Me Academy. So I thought about, um, doing like a, do a lesson with us or do, you know, something like that. Just showing y'all what Me Academy looks like for different levels of different ages, um, from the parent side and from the student side. Um, so I am thinking about that. So, um, let me know if you'd like to see that and, um, I'd certainly try and work that in. Um, let me think if there's anything else that I wanted to mention. It's been so long since I've recorded a video. Uh, I think that's, I think that's pretty much it. That's, uh, yeah, that's it. That's, that's all I really had today. So anyway, thanks for, um, coming to visit me and, um, I will see you guys in my next video.